Yeah, Clyde, this spot's right here. We ain't supposed to be here. There's somebody here already. Well, what makes you so almighty sure? Headstone. <laughs> Maybe he's buried on the other side. We always bury them on this side. Let me check over here. Are you crazy? You jumped over that grave. Oh, Lord. Oh, Lord. Why don't you just go break a mill? Walk under a ladder and open up an umbrella in the house while you're at it. Ooh. Now jump over it backwards and undo it. <laughs> Whoa, hey. Future wages. <laughs> Hi there. My name's Clem. I'm Clyde. We grave, grave diggers. <laughs> Don't y'all know this bad luck be walking around the graveyard tonight? <laughs> well, we're gonna try to help you undo some of that bad luck you done did for yourself by sharing some of this folklore. Anybody got warts? If so, I'll let you use my dead black cat. <laughs> Stick around till midnight. Throw them at the first sound you hear. Warts will disappear. What foolishness. All you gotta do is get a stick, cut 13 notches in it, and bury it at the head of the oldest man out of here. Cat works for Tom Billings. Watts hopped off his hands like bugs off a griddle. Cause the sound he heard was two lovers spooning, and they were not too pleased being interrupted by a ripe dead cat. <laughs> Tell ya. Ma'am, you wanna influence that special man and make sure that he hangs on to your every word, I got a special potion just for you. All you got to do is go out here and dig up a murdered man. You take the skull and you scrape off that white moss into a blue bag. You tie that bag around your neck. I guarantee you, he'll think things of you he ain't never thought before. <laughs> Listen to what we say, it's all good North Carolina folklore. True folklore. Now if somebody dies in your house, change all the doorknobs so the ghost can't get back in. But when you're taking your loved one out of the house, leave the door open, elsewise the ghost will get trapped in there. And if you meet a hearse, you turn around, you walk backwards or you'll die. And don't you be counting the carriages in that procession either. Elsewise, somebody in your family be leading the next one. And if in a black cat crosses that procession, goodbye to another relative. That's why I keep this one here in a bag. <laughs> Don't be pointing at that procession either. You'll be dead in a year. Don't point at a graveyard neither, you'll die just as quick. It's not quite so bad to point at a gravestone, just your fingers is right off. <laughs> Happened to Mary Lou. Sure now at the graveside, never wear anything new. It's putting on airs, you'll be dead in a year. And when you plant that loved one, make sure the mouth is closed. Otherwise, it goes to get back in there. And if you get any graveyard dirt on your shoes, you shake it off before you go, else you'll be dead inside a year. Yeah? And you make sure that we don't leave this grave open overnight. But make sure we do leave some tools here for at least three days. And if you feel a sudden warm breath on a cold night like tonight, it's a ghost of talking. Pull your pockets inside out, it goes past right on by. That's right. And if you see lights in the graveyard at night, that means the ghost is out there walking. So you follow that light right there and you'll see some more ghosts, I guarantee you. <laughs> Thanks for stopping by and listening to our good North Carolina folklore. True folklore. Now, y'all.